है इधर वेलकम टू अनदर अदर वीडियो एंड आई होप यू आर डूइंग वेल एट होम सो आई एम सॉरी फॉर दिस बैकग्राउंड बिकॉज मेरा ग्रीन स्क्रीन टूट गया है तो उस पर वीडियो नहीं बना सकता सो आई केम विद द पेन एंड पेपर वाला आइडिया जो मैं पुराने वाले बनाता था एंड टुडे आई एम गोइंग टू डिस्कस अबाउट डी कंप्रेशन सिकनेस सो वॉट द वीडियो टिल द एंड आपको बहुत मजा आएगा सो नाउ लेट्स सी वॉट हैपन एंड आई होप दैट कि दैट इज विजिबल टू यू सो वॉट हैपन फर्स्ट वॉट एवर वी टेक इन साइड अवर लंग इज वॉट ऑक्सीजन एंड अदर गैसेज नाउ दैट ऑक्सीजन is to the alveoli so that is alveoli and this is a capillary whatever in this image it's a red color that is a capillary so from the alveoli oxygen diffuses into the capillary and from the capillary carbon dioxide diffuses into the alveoli and then it is thrown out of the body now let's see what happen at the tissue level so suppose this is a tissue and this is a capillary so from the tissue carbon dioxide diffuses into the capillary then it goes to alveoli then it thrown out of the body now oxygen so oxygen we uh, we have taken oxygen that goes to the alveoli that goes to the capillary and from the capillary it diffuses into the tissue so oxygen is utilized in the body and carbon dioxide it is uh, excreted by the body now see here i described here the nitrogen oxygen and carbon dioxide so these pressures are the atmospheric air pressure so atmospheric air pressure of nitrogen it is a 597 mmhg oxygen 159 mmhg and co2 is a 0.3 mmhg but in the alveolar air that pressure changes okay nitrogen pressure 569 mmhg oxygen 104 mmhg and carbon dioxide 40 mmhg mg and this changes are due to like some of air in our lung is remain in the lung okay hamare lung mein kuch air jo hoti hai wo andar hi rehti hai wo kabhi bahar nahi aati that you have learned in the gaseous exchange of the physiology now let's see what's the pressure of that gases in capillary so in the capillary oxygen's pressure is a 40 mm hg and co2's pressure is a 46 mm hg and that's a simple question that diffusion kahan से कहा होगा सो ऑक्सीजन फ्रॉम हायर इट डिफ्यूज इन टू द लोअर एंड फ्रॉम कैपिलरी कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गोज टू द आलवियोलाइट दैट इज अ फोर्टी सिक्स बिगर नंबर दैट इज अ फोर्टी दैट इज अ लोअर नंबर सो कार्बन डाइऑक्साइड गोज टू द आलवियोलाइट एंड ऑक्सीजन गोज इन टू द कैपिलरी नाउ वट हैपन टू द नाइट्रोजन सो नाइट्रोजन डजेंट डिफ्यूज इन टू द ब्लड ओके वाई बिकॉज नाइट्रोजन प्रेशर इन द आलवियोलाई एंड कैपिलरी is somewhat same yeah it diffuses in very low amount but major contribution uska utna nahi hota hai so it remains stable inside the alveoli air now that diffusion of the gases also depend on the solubility of gas and that's the main reason that's why nitrogen doesn't diffuse into the blood uh, but what if we go deep into the ocean now we are humans we live at what we live at the surface now if we go deep into the ocean that's a very high pressure zone and that is a one law in physics i'm not good at physics that's why i searched that thing uh, in google and i found one answer that the amount of given gas that dissolve in a given type and volume of liquid is directly proportional to the partial pressure of that gas in equilibrium with that liquid that's very complex definition but uh, simply bole to what happen uh, agar hum pressure badhayenge if we go into the high pressure solubility of gases increases in the blood so what happen agar hum uh, high pressure zone mein gaye scuba divers deep to the ocean gaye solubility of nitrogen increases in the blood and nitrogen dissolves in the blood or jab tak hum wahan pe hai nitrogen remains there now as we start coming up pressure decreases solubility decreases and everything will be okay in a few minute everything will be normal in few minute but if this transition uh, occurs too quickly nitrogen doesn't get that much time uh, to clear from that blood so what happen bubble formation inside the blood capillary is seen and that lead to the major and severe complications of the decompression sickness 
Now what we see in the person of decompression sickness, so you can see our one image is that that the swelling of body occur. Now that bubble goes into the capillary, so they also lead to the pulmonary edema, they also lead to the cardiovascular CVS feature, they also lead to the neurological feature. Now that bubble goes into the joint and pe ja ke wo ho jayega. so they also lead to the knee pain, joint pain, dizziness, headache and you can see the x-ray of that uh, joint or black space that's a bubble now question comes that how to prevent it so the only way to prevent it agar aap dive karne jate ho to turant bahar nahi aana hai quickly bahar nahi aana hai and second is that ki um, if if any fish in your bucket list that main same time pe dive bhi karunga and same time pe fly bhi karunga so after diving you just come out very quickly you took a plane and aapne fly kiya that will lead to the severe complications so if any fish in your bucket list that diving and flying at the same time remove that because that not possible uh, and what's the treatment of this so sometimes fluids may be given and 100% hyperbaric O2 given that basically reverse all that pressure changes and for that it has a separate chamber so that's the today's short video and I hope ki aapko pasand aya hooga uh, and pasand aya achha laga aur bhi aise videos chahiye aur bhi aise stories chahiye aur bhi aise explanations chahiye to please hit the subscribe button hit the bell icon and milega hum next video mein map ke liye aise videos banata raunga